Hello and welcome to the MuleSoft Certified Developer Level 2 Preparation course. In this course, we will go through all the certification concepts with hands-on exercises. My name is Siddharth and I will be your instructor for this course. I am a technical architect and specialize on APA management and DevOps technologies. For most part of my career, I worked on various APA management tools like Google APG, WSO2, Layer 7, and MuleSoft. I also work on DevSecOps and Kubernetes. And these are some of the batches I have acquired in the last few years. And the latest one is MCD Level 2 Certification. This is my second online course. My first course was on DevSecOps, which is one of the best seller and top rated course. This course doesn't talk about what MuleSoft is or what it is used for. Because if you're preparing for this level two certification, you already know about it. As we know, there are three major level one Mule certifications, which are Mule Certified Developer, Integration Architect, and the Platform Architect. This course is specifically designed for MCD level two certification, which is all about working independently on production ready Mule applications. It has five major topics and these five topics have around 30 plus subtopics. We will dive into each of these topics by first understanding the concept and then implementing it. So how do we do this? This course is structured in a way that I present the topic in a simple and visual way using slides which are followed by hands-on walkthroughs. I would recommend you to do this walkthroughs to get a deeper understanding of the topic. Talking about the prerequisites, it is highly recommended to complete the Mule 4 Level 1 Developer Certification before going through these topics. If not, it would be great if you have completed the Mule 4 Developer Fundamentals course because we will not cover MuleSoft from scratch. We will cover Maven, but basic Maven knowledge is always good to have. All code snippets and walkthroughs will be provided to you via a GitHub repository or as a downloadable resource. At the end of the course, I had planned to include a couple of practice exams that helps you assess course content. But for the time being, this is kept on hold because MuleSoft's MCD level two practice exam is excellent and that should be sufficient to crack the certification. To cover all the topics, we have divided the course into eight sections starting from zero. In section zero, we will start by setting up the local environment by installing Java, Maven, AnyPoint Studio, and deploying the required backend services. And we'll also import and publish RAML specifications in AnyPoint platform. In section one, we will set up the Mule project following best practices add deployment strategies, do Maven configurations, modularize Mule application using parent form, add security properties, and also configure one-way TLS. In section two, we start adding integration logic, hit multiple APIs in parallel, manage non-functional requirement, handle errors, and cache the data to improve application performance. In section three, we add HTTP callback and process the messages asynchronously using VM and AnyPoint MQ connectors. We explore circuit breaker, operational tracing, managing correlation ID, and also we do you know, schema validations. In section four, we monitor the Mule application using health endpoints. We use shared library and create new connectors using XML SDK module. In section five, we develop a custom API policy from scratch and apply it both offline and online. In section six, we understand how to use TLS configuration for SOAP web services and consume a service using mutual TLS authentication. In section seven, we configure and write MUnit test cases for our Mule applications by using various MUnit connectors. We only see a small subset of topics in this slide. We will be covering a lot more topics in detail within each section. Before we start, I would also like to set up some expectations right at the beginning. By default, 
all the topics are covered with hands-on exercises with few exceptions. AnyPoint MQ is not available in AnyPoint platform trial accounts. I have used AnyPoint MQ in this course, but I cannot share its details. And so you will not be able to do AnyPoint MQ hands-on exercises. We will provide slides, videos, and code snippets. And it is the same for functional monitoring. So we will be using an external API monitoring solution to understand the concepts, which is more or less the same. We do not have and will not provide Mule Enterprise Maven repository credentials. MUnit Maven execution depends on this and hence we will cover the concepts through slides and do MUnit testing using AnyPoint Studio. All other hands-on walkthroughs can be done without enterprise credentials. If you have access to any of these resources via your partner portal or some other means, you could use them for hands-on purpose. Please do not use your customer or production accounts for this hands-on purpose. Do check out my LinkedIn profile and the MCD Slack workspace for new updates, offers, and for any other queries. Feel free to look at the course description and I look forward to see you inside. Thank you.